now the Cypriot in fifth place and 15 kilos off the lead at the halfway stage so that's quite a chunky deficit but if you compare it with the man in second place because we think that Cesar is fragile actually then when you put it he's actually only nine kilos behind Bucci but he needs to make every one of these now and he has made this weight as a 69 kilo lift up but not as a 62 Well, I didn't know it was a squat jerker. Okay, so far we've only seen split jerkers. In other words, they split their feet fore and aft to get under the bar. He squatted under it. He was very quick under the bar, too, in the clean. Watch him reverse directions now. Boom, very fast under the bar. And now he's going to dip and drive. He's going to squat under it rather than split. Boom. Not quite a power jerk. Looked for a moment like he was going to stop this thing, but parallel, but he got jerked down a little bit. Nice lift. Yeah, go back to the European Championships of 2018, Lignano, when he was a uh, 69 kilo lifter. He totaled up 305 then. But, you know, since then he's been working at this lighter weight category. Now, Vishniki, who threw some good lifting in the first half he had one failure at 130 on the second attempt but he came back to recover and take the bronze medal so he's in third place going into the second half and 150 on the bar this is for a 280 and the lead good split good lift good start They tell me that Kolechki hasn't decided uh, to give it up yet. I was sort of surprised That's that we the... didn't see him on the start list here. Well, he's had so many, oh, yeah. uh, so many operations, so many bits of treatment, and you know he's in the build-up phase. Whether he gets to Paris wow. in any sort of competitive condition, we'll just have to wait. We're talking about Simon Kolechki yeah. of Poland, of course, and this is Dudoglu. And the bar for him. Now, Dudoglu, this is a five kilo increase to take him to 270, which momentarily would move him up into overall bronze. And into the lead in the clean and jerk by virtue of lighter body weight. Not his night. How many years have we been discussing, Randy? Is there no one in the world who can actually produce super glue for stickers? Yeah. <laughs> Staple <I> mod. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think. What was the old system? Just pin them on? It's an inconvenience. One of these days, you know, it might be blamed whether or not it is the cause. It might be blamed if there's an accident, someone steps on this number, slips. You don't want to see it happen, but yeah, they obviously cannot make these things stay in place. Shimon Koleski, you know, who you mentioned earlier, David, talk about just a, a star cross career. 90 great, 94 kilo lifter. Thinking we'd be going for second or third Olympic gold medal. Yeah, he should have won the gold in Athens. Sorry, he should have won his gold in Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. You rarely get more than one chance, and that was his opportunity, and he should have taken it. I would have thought early in his career that he would have multiple Olympic gold medals as a possibility. Yeah. Because that was that talented. But things don't always work out the way you think they might. Now, this is interesting. 151, six kilo increase. Pretty big. Yeah. He'll deserve a glass of something if he can make this. Yeah. <laughs> With bubbles? Come on, stand up, Kevin. Good. Big effort. Go oh. Pretty close. 
close. Just Pretty got close. to him. Yeah. Just got to him, the weight. Yeah. But, you know, one day... Oh, he'll make this soon. That, I mean, that was within reach. You know, he's only 24. Yeah. So, you know, those two reds actually make it look worse than it actually is because, you know, he has really tried this evening. Yeah. At the moment, he's overall third with 269, and that is a new personal best. Well, here's the proof of the pudding. Bunyami Cesar, leader at the halfway stage, coming out for 153. Cesar had posted 145 as his opener, so this is eight kilos up, so a bit of kidding going on here. Oh. But he's got to make everything. total and he maintains his advantage what do you think can you read the body language how much is there left in the tank he's uh, good and aggressive you know the way he goes after these lifts and I don't know I don't think that looked like uh, his limit I mean clearly he was happy to be on the board with this um, I'm not the coach, but I would rather not see him recover by pulling that back leg forward first like that. It seems like an unnecessary way to risk losing the jerk overhead, but... See, 293, he's got to have in his mind to get to the 300s, hasn't he? He's got yeah. to get to the 300s. He's got to think that... So is he going to do it in one fell swoop, or is he going to do it a three and a two, or...? I think I'd be happier seeing him doing it in, you know, three steps. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, because we saw it this afternoon, you know, eight kilos up and, you know, suddenly if you, if you, if you make it, you're a hero. If you lose it, you're, you know, smacking yourself for not going the other way. But, you know, part of it's a perception because before the one kilo rule, a five kilo increase was very ordinary. Yeah. Now, you know, in the, the context of a possibility of a one kilo increase, five seems monumental. Oh, he's really throwing caution to the wind. He's going up five kilos. Well, it's slightly more monumental, if you want to use that word, at these weight categories. Well, absolutely, because as a percent, it's larger. Yeah. yeah. Vishniski now. Second attempt, 155. Quietly going about his business, this man. Third place in the clean and jerk, but this would take him into the overall lead in the clean and jerk and would move him up in the overall to a total of 285. He'd still be behind Cesar, though. It's getting pretty buried on that clean. There's a technical rule too that if your elbow touches your knee on the clean, you'll be red lighted immediately. There, there's no advantage. In fact, it's a great way to sprain, injure, possibly break your wrist, but you also get de DQ'd on the left. He was pretty close to that, but basically he got just got squashed and got blown out the back on the clean. Bales. And, and actually, good point, Randy. I mean, basically. It's only useful, that rule, as a protective safety rule. Well, nobody intends to do that. I think no. it's actually, I don't know, the rule is probably an artifact of the uh, clean lifting. You know, you used to not be able to touch the bar at all, your body. Now, you know, a lifter will brush it on the way up. And some people think press out should also be eliminated. But no, it's, there's no advantage in having the elbow touch. Nobody aims to do that. Sometimes you just get crushed by the bar, elbow goes down, boom, the next thing you know, your elbow's on your knee, bar's on your wrists, and it hurts. Talking about hurting, when, I don't know if we've got a ripped thumbnail there. We talk about the hook grip in between. Guys will, th will tape their thumb, that's to keep the skin by the edge of the nail getting torn when they hook. Hook grip means the thumb goes around the bar the way you would normally expect it, then the other four fingers go on top of the thumb, gives you a much more secure grip. 
Now, Butchie, the bar to 156. So this is six kilos up than his originally posted opening lift. So I think he's aware of the fact that, you know, although he probably thinks in his mind he can catch Cesar, you know, you still got to do the kilos. You still got to do the catching. Cesar, who did 153, so this man going for 156. So this is to take what was a six kilo deficit and halve it. Good clean. Power jerk. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, uh, made that jerk look very secure. As you say, uh, just putting out there, just the four rings. Well, I, th I think so. I yeah. mean, I don't know if the fifth one is so faint that we're not picking it up, and I don't know if that's his way to avoid any sort of yeah. intellectual property. Because everybody, every, everybody would say Olympic rings, yeah, exactly. wouldn't they? Yeah. 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 You, know, you get the message without breaking the uh, rule. Well, I'm not sure it would hold up. I think it would be like spelling Coke, K-O-K-E. I think yeah. Coca-Cola would still, yeah. still just so the notify you. <laughs> just so the IOC police can't get at him. Yeah. <laughs> Vizniski. Now, he had a setback in the second attempt of the snatch phase, and he's taken a bit of extra time to recover. Failed at 155. This is 156. So this is a six kilo increase for 286 total. Double bounce to be able to stand up. Didn't quite have the leg power to do it otherwise. One so, uh, business deed out. You can see those two failures. He's actually still in overall uh, bronze, but it, um, he's probably now going to have to just settle for that bronze medal that he got in the snatch phase because I think he's going to be overtaken and here comes uh, there was the dip and just bailed on it yeah and now Mr. Attack good name eh yeah <laughs> 157 for his opener this man at the halfway stage in fourth place and just a couple of kilos outside the medals Steady on the front of the platform and gets the 157. Uh, just having a look at that. So already Hrushit Tak of Turkey's got a bit of revenge on uh, Min uh, Vizneski and this is Minasidis who's dropped down in the overall table to fifth place. This is an increase of seven kilos to take him to 282. Did well to hold that together, Randy. Yeah, you don't see a lot of squat jerkers, partly because it, the position is even more precarious. It takes more shoulder flexibility to be able to hit it, but the margin for error is smaller than you have on a split jerk. He's making these look pretty secure, though, overhead, pretty stable. Goes Silva in the clean and jerk behind a tank, but he's only got one more attempt left. And remember, remember the man that I mentioned uh, right at the beginning, uh, 
Gishkan of Romania. Well, just worth mentioning that, in fact, he has not yet started, but he is about to right here, right now. And that objective of getting a clean and jerk medal. So 158 for his opener. Was him straight into the clean and jerk lead by a kilo. Strong jerk overhead, needs to stand still. Well, for me, Durandi, the buzzer came from the uh, referees to put it down before he was actually stationary. Yeah, he was staggering around a bit. Sometimes it becomes a little bit anticipatory. I don't know if that was, do you thought that was particularly egregious? No, I mean, I think he achieved the lift, but have a look at this and see, you know, whether you think he was stable. Has to be in control he, of the bar. Yeah, he, he's moving around quite a bit trying to save this thing. There's the movement, more, more. Yeah. Anyway, he's got it. <laughs> right. And, and if he had dropped it at that point before getting the down signal, you can be sure he would have been glaring at the referees. Yeah. So now, Cesare, five kilo increase. Now, this is pretty crucial for him in his quest for the overall title. He's only three kilos at the moment ahead of Bucci of Romania. He's really fought for that. Yeah, you could see his eyes bulge as he was walking forward on that jerk. Yeah, because what he's doing here is, you know, he's saying, catch me if you can. Yeah. You know, he's gone 298, and even 298 for the championship may just not be enough. You know, when you look at, now you've got to really look at who's got what left. You know, he's got one left, but, uh, Butchie has got two left now, and Butchie is eight kilos behind. So Butchie, when he comes out next time, he's really got to start to, you know, got to have a big bite at the deficit. Absolutely. Can't, because, can't do a two kilo increase. Because also, Butchie is heavier than Cesar. So that's another little advantage to the Turk. And the bar. Well, Cesar, well, it says 159, but I can't believe that Cesar's going to come out and just do a kilo. I mean, if, if it was me working with the coaches there, Randy, I think you'd be saying, no, you know, Here we'll wait, we'll, let's wait and see what happens on the uh, next round of lifts. And it's uh, Gishkan coming out for 160. I'm surprised, actually. I thought he might have waited as well to get an extra kilo or maybe another two kilos for his second attempt in his quest for a clean and jerk medal. We've got Bucci with two, Minisidis with one, Attack with two. Well, we got another change. Now, this is the chess game. This is the poker going on now. Cesar with an eight kilo advantage over Bucci, last year's runner up. And he's got a big, chunky 13 kilo advantage over Attack, who's got two attempts left. Minasidis, I can't see him closing the gap because 282, that's too far behind. That's Valeria Leonidas walking toward us, uh, Greek coach, working with the uh, Cypriot lifter. Now, 161 on the bar for Bucci. Now, this is where the money is. Randy, because 161, that is a five kilo increase. That would bring him back within three kilos of Cesar. Which you could hit on the next attempt. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is that Butchie, last year, 165, and 165 is what he has done on several occasions. Another change, David.
So attack now on 161. So this is a four kilo. He's got an overall medal in his mind here, and a clean and jerk medal. Remember, he's got two cards to play. This is the second one. Good for me, good for you. Yeah, yep, through eye lights, they agree with us. So clean and jerk. Burshid attack from Turkey goes into the lead, 289. His total, but 161. He's got a three kilo advantage over his Turkish colleague, Bunyamin Cesar, in the clean and jerk and in the overall. Attack now in third place, seven kilos ahead of Minasidis of Greece. Now, Minasidis, four kilos isn't going to be enough to make a difference in the overall, but it could be that Minasidis is thinking also of a medal in the clean and jerk. Thirty seconds, and he's been stopped by the uh, technical controller and the clock. And, the, and is it the number again? I think, uh, it, I think it was. They're the pointing to his legs. I don't know if it was his knee bands or. I don't what? know. It but it's cost him time because that clock never stops. It's nine seconds left. Yeah, he can pull this off. Can't wait. Five, four. Come on, Demetrius. Well, you know, that that having to rush at the end, that might have thrown the rhythm off on that jerk. It's possible. He had to really rush at the end. I think he was clearly distracted, checking his time, trying to get settled, realizing he had nine seconds left, I think, about when he got settled over the bar. And cleans it, shakes his head. Now he's going to go for the dip and drive and the wow. precarious squat jerk, which he is not going to make. Okay. You know, see, I think he was rattled. I think it was a factor on yeah, that Yeah, you lift. see, I think in, when he had the failure in the snatch phase, I think that was very much down to him. But this time, I think he was unfortunate. I think, the, the, you know, the delay by the technical controller really upset him mm. because he didn't know what he was talking about. Now, Cesar, crucial, 161. He's got to make this to make sure that he gets the championship. Three kilos more. This to take him to 301, to break that 300 barrier, which he knows would just about get him home, perhaps. And that opens the door for Butchi. Because now Butchi has got eight kilos to find, but Butchi with two attempts, Randy, in which to do it. But he's got Giscan to interrupt it because Giscan, always after that clean and jerk honor, He's got to two attempts as well. And this is a lift up from 158 to 162, which again isn't really going to muck with the overall competition. He's just focused on that clean and jerk medal. So 162 for a one kilo lead in the clean and jerk. He's in third. This will take him into gold medal position in the clean and jerk. strong in the second phase. Yeah, pop that. 
Good. And first place for the 22-year-old Romanian. And you know now he's wiped the memory of a bad competition of in Antalya right out. You know, he didn't total in Antalya. And as successful as this is, as important as this, watch, he contains himself. There's no celebration following this. He's sitting out, he knows the evening's not quite over yet. He's not going to waste energy celebrating prematurely. And absolutely right, because he's got one more pop. And now he can wait and play that card and decide which medal you know, he wants to go for. He needs to see the others come out, and it's going to be surely Butchie to come out next. Butchie on the catch-up trail. So Butchie at the moment with quite a bit of work to do here because he's eight kilos off and body weight. So 156 and just have a look at this. Uh, he's coming up for 165. So that is a what, nine kilo. He's doing it in a one go. He's after the lead and the championship effectively with one lift. The man who was second to Errol Bülşin of Turkey last year, now trying to take the championship away from Turkey and to wrestle it for Romania. And you have said all evening how marginal that form of power jerk is with squat, these sort of weights. Well, a squat jerk just does not give you a lot of latitude for adjusting overhead. If it's a split jerk, you know, you don't have tons, but you have a greater uh, margin for error. You can adjust more, is what it means, for getting your body under the bar, keeping it there. And you can see just lost this out front. So Bucci's got one. Attack has got one, Giscan's got one, but basically, if Butchie comes out and gets it, he effectively gets the championship. He doesn't get it, then Caesar clings on. And the others, Giscan and Attack, are fighting for these clean and jerk medals because Giscan's in gold, Attack is in silver, Caesar has finished in bronze, Butchie is the one who can go and take Caesar out of the clean and jerk medals, but Giscan and Attack know that they've actually got clean and jerk medals. So big success for Giscan. Knew his target, knew what he was going for, sitting in gold medal position with one opportunity to repost whatever happens. So it's turned out, as yeah. we hope, Randy, yeah. really competitive. Yeah, very close. Coming down to final lifts. And now we have to give credit to Cesar, don't we? I mean, maybe I was being a bit of a doubting Thomas in the first half, you know, when he was building the advantage. But, you know, he's built, he might not break 300, well, he isn't going to break 300, but he might just have done enough. And the next minute will tell us because it's a minute to win it. Yeah, a minute to win it. I like that. <laughs> Actually, 36 seconds. So this for the Championship of Europe, he gets it, he gets the title, he loses it, it swings back to Cesar. Once again, misses at the crucial time and Bunyami Cesar of Turkey stays in the lead and actually Bucci in the clean and jerk is down in fifth place so this has been a real downer for him and you know it brings into question again this business would it have been better to two-step yeah. because if you look at the overall situation you know he's in second place but now attack who is only one kilo behind him can actually take the silver medal away from him Yes, he can live up to his surname. He can attack at this point. 161, five kilo increase to take himself to 294. A new personal best for the junior European champion of last year. Looking for the runners up spot in the senior championship. And to give Turkey a one, two.
Uh, he was just off balance, wasn't he? When Just when he went for the jerk there, he just was off balance. So he stays in the bronze medal position. And that means that the clean and jerk, the gold medal has been won by Gishgan, who still has one lift to come. Just have a look at this, when he goes for the jerk. Yeah, he's staggering over to his left, I think. He's yeah. leaning over to his left, he's listing a little bit. I think, as you say, from the early moments of that jerk. Yeah. Just when he started the drive, yeah. the balance was lost and he couldn't finish it off. So Giscan now, gold medal for Romania in the clean and jerk. And Bucci, his teammate, having to be satisfied in the overall uh, placings with the silver medal as he had last year. So a bit of bittersweet here for Romania. That one wasn't in his mind. And I wonder whether it was all about the fact that he'd already what? got the gold medal. Yep. So a slightly deflated end, but nonetheless well, a, yeah. good, a good competition. Yeah, the build-up to that point was great, and then things did kind of unravel.